Good morning, or good afternoon now, I guess. Craig and I are going to a movie with Star Trek. Exciting. Happy 4th of July, y'all. America! Let's go for a little walk, shall we? I think we're gonna walk along the river and go over this bridge here to the island. I think it's Ward I Ward's Island. We'll chat some more. Do you hear that? That's nature. Gooses or geeses. I'm thinking these gates that go up um, to the bridge are for the zombie apocalypse. So we can keep the zombies off of the island. Or we can go to the island and keep the zombies away from us. Either way. So we walked from the bridge there all along the river here up and around the bend there. enough money to go in that water. Nasty. Ugh. Whew, that was a good walk. I burned off the calories from my soda and popcorn from the movie. I got super sweaty. Well, my three-day weekend is winding down. It's a good weekend. Saw a couple movies. Um, back to the grind tomorrow. Reality. So Star Trek was action-packed. There was twists and turns. Um, overall, it was pretty good. There were a lot of extreme close-ups and lots and lots of crying. Almost on the verge of being a chick flick. Um, and what I learned from Star Trek, I guess, because I want to share with you guys when I go to a movie, what I really take away from it. With Star Trek, what I took away is go with your gut instinct. And sometimes, you just don't be logical. Spock always wants to be logical, but sometimes it's better to not be logical. So that was my key takeaway from that movie. But I would definitely go see it. It's a good one. Craig and I are probably going to skip the fireworks because I'm not in the mood to deal with all of the people. After dealing with all of the people today, getting to and from the movie, there are a lot of people out and about. Um, so we'll probably skip that. I'll probably just watch it on TV like I do every year. It's actually nicer because you're inside and it's air conditioned. And you get to hear the music that goes along with the, the fireworks. So that's my plan for tonight. I hope you guys had a good 4th of July. Let me know what you, what you guys did in the comments below and what your favorite part of the 4th of July was. Um, I always think of the 4th as kind of being the halfway point of summer. And we're well on our way to Christmas. You know, it's only about five and a half months away. So start your Christmas lists and get your Christmas cards ready, I guess. Well, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Why do you gotta be so lazy?